People come into the CMA from all educational backgrounds and life experiences. But in the end, the people who succeed have gotten into the right group, capturing a mindset and solid habits that result in success. Want to know what those are? Watch this video. Not everyone passes the CMA exam the first time. In fact, less than half do. Everyone wants to know what separates the ones who make it. And I'm going to tell you today. I'm Nathan from CMAexamacademy.com, where we help candidates like you pass the CMA exam the first time. First, let me say this. I do not believe there are people who just aren't cut out to be CMAs. If you want this, I know that you can get it. There is a mindset that leads people to succeed, even doing things that are very, very difficult, like the CMA exam. This mental state is shared by executives, athletes, and high performers everywhere. Here's what psychologists tell us it takes to win. First, you need a flexible mindset. Sometimes this is called a growth mindset, but it's essentially your brain that is open to new ideas and adaptation. If you have a fixed mindset, you may head into CMA exam prep with a rigid plan. The problem is you're going to encounter things here you never have before. And if you are not flexible, you could set yourself up for failure and we do not want that. Second is focus. Maybe this feels obvious, but having a single-minded focus on your goals is a huge differentiator between people who fail and people who succeed. If you take your eyes off the prize, you could falter. And again, we don't want that to happen to you. Third is clarity. You need to know your why. CMA exam prep is hard as it is. I'm not going to tell you it isn't. You need to have a clearly defined goal and it's not just to pass the exam. What do you want from being a CMA? Visualize it and head toward it. Fourth, this mindset principle bridges into your habits and it's about decisions. You will have to make decisions every day about how you study, when you study, and how long to study for in every session. These decisions should be informed by your clear purpose, driven by your sharp focus, and open to inevitable changes. It's important to unpack how mindset affects your habits, which we'll dive into next. But first, why do you want to be a CMA? It may feel like a no-brainer, but we actually all have different reasons. What is yours? Comment below and we'll talk about it because I would love to know. So now let's talk about habits. We talk about this a lot in CMA prep because it separates people who pass from those who don't. Habits require a few principles to be achieved. They must be obvious, easy, and enjoyable. What does that look like for you? Let's talk about it. Obvious means that you set yourself up for success by literally putting your CMA textbook in plain sight, adding the app to your home screen, writing your study plan in big red letters, whatever it takes. Make it a visible and obvious part of your life. Easy means that you don't have a ton of barriers to actually studying. Make the route easy, organize your stuff so it's easy to get to, make the space conducive. The easier a habit is, the more likely you are to stick to it. And enjoyable means just that. If it's a huge pain and you dread it, you'll be widely demotivated. So figure out ways to reward yourself. Pair study with your favorite coffee, perhaps, sit on a comfortable chair, whatever it takes. Even the smallest ways to make this more enjoyable will enhance your motivation. And here's what I know. With the right mindset and the right habits, you can do it and I want you to win. And to help you, download a copy of my free CMA exam cheat sheet. The link's in the caption below. This is a freebie for you that will unlock even more secrets about the CMA exam and how you can conquer it. So let's do a quick recap. To succeed in an effort like becoming a CMA, you need a flexible, focused, clear, and purpose-driven mindset. You need that mindset to translate into habits that are obvious, easy, and enjoyable. So actually, I'm very curious. Do you see that your mindset or habits are undermining your success? 
comment below and we'll discuss it. I want to help you out. If you want to crush it as a CMA and see long-term success, there are plenty of career opportunities in front of you, including remote ones. So watch this video next on remote CMA jobs. I wish you good luck and thank you for watching. Until our next video, bye.